hello everyone welcome to my channel milky sync academy so here you can see guys i have applied the import range function so if i click on the a1 here a1 cell here so in the formula bar you can see i have applied the import range function so this video tutorial is about how to apply import range function using your google sheet mobile application so let's start this video guys so guys in order to apply import range function you are going to need few things beforehand when you are actually applying the formula in your new sheet so the first thing is that uh, you are going to need is a google sheet url so that url of that sheet which you are going to import and second one is worksheet name and uh, third one is range so what kind of what part of the google sheet that you want to import and at last we have import range function so i'm going to uh, copy all these things here so similarly you have to do the same thing because it will get messy when you are actually copying and pasting so it is better you have copied somewhere in your mobile phone so let's do that guys so this is my sheet here so this is untitled sheet you can see so I have made a complete tutorial about how to use Google Sheet mobile application. So you can go ahead and watch that in my channel. So let's copy uh, these contents here you can see. So this is the sheet guys. So this sheet is all departments and in this sheet I have multiple worksheets you can see. Marketing employees, company employees and market guys. So first we have to copy the URL. So click on this plus icon. This person kind of icon here so click on it and here you have to come here down so you have to share the URL so I'm going to click on this R button here and here you can see anyone with the link so click on change so your URL of this Google sheet must be an editor one so like uh, everyone can edit this sheet here so click on editor and anyone with the link and you have to copy the link here so just click on this icon this small icon here so it will copy to the clipboard so now I'm going to paste it here so this is our first thing okay guys so the next thing is worksheet name so as I have already shown you that this sheet has multiple worksheets so for example so let me close it so here you can see market employees company employees and market guys so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all the marketing employees sheet here starting from A1, so this is A1 here and up to, so this is our range K7, okay guys, so just click on it and click on rename and I'm going to copy it, so trust me you are going to need all these things which I'm copying here, now click on the notes here, so I'm going to paste it here, now the range, so our range was a1 to so that one is k7 so the last entry is here in the k7 here so let me write so our range could be like a1 to so like k7 okay so this is how we are also going to copy so all is good so last is one is our import range function so that is we are going to apply in the sheet so let me open the another sheet and uh, click on sheet app and here you can see untitled sheet so you can apply it in any sheet you want so you can apply it in the different but you must have an editor accessed of that sheet whichever you are importing so i'm clicking on this untitled sheet here and i'm applying this import function in the a1 cell here you can see i have clicked here now click on this fx here you can see the formula bar here so click on it now search for import so I have recently used here but you can click on this search here and type import range so this is the function and it is going to automatically added here in the formula bar so the first thing guys you have to do is to double quotation and comma double quotation okay so just do that now you can also learn about this formula by clicking on this uh, you can suggestion here so let me copy the first the URL here so let me click on copy and i have copied the url so url is going to go here so let me click on this okay so just click on this you know paste here so it is going to paste and now we are going to paste the worksheet name so the worksheet name is marketing employees so let me select that and click on copy so this is very important that is why i have copied all the stuff here 
so to make my life easier so we have copied the marketing employees the worksheet name and put the exclamation sign here and now just uh, copy and paste the range so this is the range a1 to k7 let me copy it and without any space just paste it here now we are good to go we have copied the whole function here now just click on ok and you can see guys the we have successfully imported a sheet range from another sheet so that is all guys how you can import uh, how you can apply import range function using mobile app thanks a lot for watching this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel i keep posting these kind of videos related to computer science thanks a lot guys bye bye